our day is going to be heating up. We're going to see heat and humidity, 69 outside right now. So for starting on the warm side, calm winds, dew point 65, humidity 87%. So it's high, a lot of moisture out there. You could come across some patchy fog throughout parts of the viewing area this morning. By 8 o'clock, it's going to be 73. By noon, already 85. At 6 o'clock, we're heading towards 88. We could see a high 89, some areas 90 degrees for their high. So it's just going to be a hot day. Can't rule out a stray storm popping up with all this heat and humidity in the air. The average high 84, the average low 63. We're above average, but we're going to be below average as we look to the seven day extended forecast. In fact, looking at the weekend, a high temperature around 79 degrees with lows in the lower 60s. So stray showers are possible mainly in the afternoon to be popping up. So it's not a washout weekend, but looking forward to the weekend already after we had that 4th of July holiday. So looking at the big picture here, some showers and thunderstorms that's organizing along a cold front. That frontal system will be moving through our area tomorrow. That's where we're going to expect to see some showers are likely. But in the meantime today, lots of sunshine, high pressure on top of us to give us the sunny skies, but also pulling in a little bit of a southerly flow, and that means hot and uncomfortable weather. Looking, zooming in closer, calm winds throughout the area and clear skies. And as I said, we expect to see mostly sunny skies in the day towards the afternoon and into the evening, increasing clouds because of the this cold front that's going to be moving on in. We're really hopeful that this cold front will bring us some scattered showers and thunderstorms. Some of the storms could be on the heavy side if we see some pop-ups moving through. So for the most part, it'll start to move it through overnight and throughout the day tomorrow. That frontal system will move through. National Weather Service says showers are likely, pop-up thunderstorms. And then on the back side of that front, that's where we're going to see the relief. Cooler temperatures, less humidity, high moving on in. So really Friday is looking to be a great day with mostly sunny skies and comfortable temperatures. For the weekend, a series of weaker systems moving through to give us the chance of maybe some stray showers. So looking at this afternoon, maybe a few pop-up showers because of the heat and humidity, unstable conditions out there, but we're going to heat up to the upper 80s, lower 90s. Then overnight, possible uh, a storm, some extra clouds. Here we are by 1030 in the morning, some scattered showers moving on through. We're hoping for more uniform showers and thunderstorms moving through where all of us will get some rain, but right now Skycast showing us a lot of pop-ups and some areas not even getting rain. Here we are Thursday afternoon, some scattered showers and thunderstorms. So we're going to have to watch as this cold front moves on through and see how much rain we'll get. Then here we are on Wednesday, cooler temperatures in the 70s and dry weather in store for our new high moving in by Friday. So some patchy fog this morning throughout the area, otherwise mostly sunny skies, stray shower popping up, a slight chance of some rain as we have that heat and humidity are high about 89, but some areas could reach near 90 degrees. Tonight 69 the low, so another warm evening with partly cloudy skies and the chance of storms moving in overnight. Then for tomorrow with that cold front passing, we'll see a high about 84, mostly cloudy skies. We'll see some showers likely, chance of some thunderstorms, so you'll need the umbrella and raincoat for tomorrow. But as we look to the seven day extended forecast, Friday looks like a great day, a high 80 with mostly sunny skies, partly sunny skies for the weekend. We'll see the chance of showers. Now don't cancel any plans because it doesn't look right now to be like all day rain and washouts, but we'll need to see the raincoat in the car if you're heading somewhere or whatever, because we could see some scattered storms popping up. Then into next week, comfortable temperatures again, high 81 on Monday and Tuesday with some sunshine, more shower chances on Wednesday. It's getting dry out there. We do need some moisture mm -hmm. and it's time now for a check on sports with the highlights here's tony quatch from metzger financial services